So let's just take Jet Wool Builder from Crocoblock and use that to create a custom WooCommerce account dashboard. We're going to go from this to this design. Ready to get started? Awesome. Let's go. So we'll be using Jet Wool Builder as the key component to create our custom My Account section for our site. Once you've gone ahead, download it and install that, we're then ready to go. To get things started, we simply need to come down to Crocoblock, which will be inserted into our dashboard, and we're going to come into the Wool Page Builder. Inside there, we can now create our first template, and this template is going to be the holding point for all of our dashboards. So what we're going to do is create Add New. We can choose then what's the template for. We're going to choose the option for My Account, and we're going to give this a name. We're going to call this Croco My Account. Okay, so we'll create that template. That will create a template and open up Elementor for us and we can start working. Now this is Elementor free. You don't need the pro version to start working with this. You can just use Elementor free. Now with JetWool Builder installed inside Elementor, we have a new section now on the left-hand side called JetWool Builder. As you can see, there are quite a few different options. Not all of these are applicable to working with my account. As you can see, we have things like categories grid, products grid, and so on. However, anything with my account preceding it, we can use that as part of the my account setup. We have two areas inside my account, the account section where you'll see things like your addresses, your orders and those kinds of things. And we can also, if you want to, create a dedicated page that can be used for new users to register or for anybody that already has an account to log in. And we'll take a look at that in a little bit. OK, so let's just start building out our my account section. First of all, let's just drop a heading in at the top and we're going to just name this Welcome to my account. And now we can do underneath it, we can just do a search for my account and we can just drop any of these relevant pieces of information in. So we can say things like my account dashboard and this will give us the normal kind of welcome that you have with links and everything. So you probably used to see in this as part of WooCommerce's my account dashboard. And now we can, if we want to, we can just configure this any way we want. So we can start styling things. We can adjust put some padding inside there. We can say we want to put the margin or 50 pixels above and below. So you can start to get things set up the way you want to fit in with the styling of your My Account and your website. But you can also see this is picking up some of the styling, which is great to see. But if you want to style any of these elements, you can do that completely. You can see we have a full complement of various different options for the typography, colors and so on. So if you want to customize this in a slightly different way, you can do that. Next on the agenda, we're going to want to put something like our orders inside here. So let's come back to our widgets. We'll do a search for my account and we're going to grab the my orders, drop that inside there. And then any orders that we have as part of this particular account will be displayed. And as you can see, this again picks up all the styling, but we have full control over every aspect of this. You can see if we look on the left hand side, we can control things like the headings, the cells, the buttons, navigation and so on. So we can say, let's just hop over to the button and you can see if we wanted to, we could adjust that inside there. So you can change your background colors, your hover colors, everything that you need to control all of this. You can adjust the cells, which is basically each one of these cells that we have, the order number, the date, status and so on. So you can control those. If you want to color code those, do whatever you want with it. So full control over all of the styling aspects inside here. Next on the agenda, we need to do things like control the registered address, the delivery address, those kinds of things. And we can do that again inside here. We can just drag over my account addresses, drop that where we want. You'll see that pulls in the relevant information. If we want to drop another heading inside here. We can drop that in so we can have some kind of separation. And we'll just put in there my registered addresses. There we go. So we now have something that makes a little bit more sense to what's going on. And as you can see, you can build this up and you can style this and you can do whatever you want with it. So once you finish that side of things, how do we actually go about using this? Well, we'll say we're happy with this for now and we will come back in a moment, don't worry, and make this a lot more sort of in keeping with what we would want. We'll publish this. Once we've done that, we now just have to head out of Elementor and we're going to go into WooCommerce and into the settings section. Now, when you install JetWoo Builder, you have a new tab entry called JetWoo Builder underneath the settings. If we open that up, this is where we can come in and we can override any of the predefined templates that make up part of WooCommerce. Or if you want to make other changes, we might want to change a template later on down the line. We can do all that inside here. And as you can see, this gives us control over all of the key pages that make up WooCommerce. We're interested in this example, though, if we're going to come right the way down to the My Account page section. We're going to enable the custom My Account page. 
And then we have two entries, the My Account Template and the My Account Login Page Template. We've already gone ahead and created the template for My Account. So let's just expand that. You can see there's Croco My Account that we've just created. So we'll activate that and we'll save this. And then we'll come back, take a look at this Account Login section in a moment. Let's just scroll down save our changes on there, hop over to the front end of the site and take a look now at our new custom layout for my account. So this is my account page. And as you can see, this is the normal way you'd expect to see it as part of WooCommerce. If I refresh this page, we'll now have our customized version of this. So you can see there's all our layout, all our styling, everything inside there is all laid out. Now there's a couple of things we want to deal with and we'll take a look at those a little later on by removing things like my account and so on. But you can see it's very easy to start adding these layouts in here Really simple. So let's take a look now at how we do the login and the registration page, and then we'll come back and take a look at how we can make this page just a little bit more useful. So come back into the Woo page builder and the Crocker block section, the dashboard, and we're ready to create a new template. Just like we did before, we'll hit add a new template. We're going to change this again to my account, and we're going to just call this Croco my account login. Once you hit the create button, we're now into Elementor and we're ready to start building. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a simple two column layout. We're going to make a bit of space around this like we've done before. So we'll just add some margins above and below. And now if we come back into our widgets, search for my account. Now we can deal with the account login and also the registration form. So we're going to grab the my account login form, drop that into the left hand section and you can see that styles up a login form. And again, we have a full complement of controls to control every aspect of this. But we're going to leave it set as it is. That's perfectly fine. I think you can probably figure your way around making some changes to the look and feel of this without my intervention. And we'll do the my account registration on the right hand side. And again, you can see this now gives us the register option. The only thing I'm going to do is just select this entire section and just put a little bit more space around it. There we go. That looks a little better. Hit publish on there and that's our template created. So now we just need to head back into WooCommerce, back to the settings section and into JetWoo Builder. Now, if we scroll right the way down to our My Account section, we can set up the My Account login page. So all we need to do, like we did before, is just choose the relevant template, use that option, and hit save changes. We've now created our registration and login page. So let's take a look at that. I've opened up an incognito window where I'm not logged in and we're back onto the homepage of the site. So now if I click on my account, you can see this now takes us into the login or register section. And again, all styled up looking pretty sweet. So it's really easy to use JetWoo Builder to create not only your My Account dashboard, but also the login and registration pages. Now that all looks pretty cool, but if you want to make things more functional and smoother, we do still have just a little bit of work left to do. With that in mind, let's see how we can use another of Crocoblox plugins to give us the ability to work with tabs and switches. We're going to be taking a look at Jet Tabs. Now you don't need to do this section. You could just as easily spend a little time building things with the tools I've just demonstrated and just a little bit of creativity. But if you want an easy way to organize your My Account dashboard, this is a great option to check out. If you want to follow along with this, just make sure you've downloaded and installed Jet Tabs. I've already done that and we're ready to go. So what we need to do is hop over into the dashboard. This is the login page and the registration page we just created in the first section. We're going to use that right now because we've already seen how to set this up. So with that in mind, there's a couple of things we need to do. There's a little bit of a workaround to get this to work. The JetWoo Builder My Account widgets only work inside the JetWoo Builder templating system, and we're not going to be using that to create the tabs and so on. So how do we get about going around that? Very easy. All we need to do is make sure we have this window open where we've already dropped in the login and registration, and we'll replace those a little later. So what we're going to do, first of all, is just copy this. So we'll select it, copy it, and now we can paste that into a separate location. So we'll head back out and we'll go into the Elementor templates, go into Save Templates, and inside there, we're going to create a new template. We're going to set this to be a page and we're going to call this My Account Login create our template and then we just need to paste that widget contents inside here. So we'll right click, choose paste and there's our login. Now don't worry about the look of this. The format has kind of gone all to pot. That will be ignored and it'll go into the way that we wanted to display correctly when we use it inside the actual template we're going to create next. So we'll publish this and that's that first one done. We'll just hop back out of here and we're going to create a second template. So again, save templates, add new, Choose the option for page, and this time we're going to call this my account registration. 
We're gonna repeat the exact same process. So we'll create that page, we'll hop back over here, we'll copy the register, hop back over in and paste this inside here. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just literally switching between the two different locations and we're creating the templates that we're going to use inside for this example, the switcher. Let's publish this and that's our two templates created. Let's go back to our dashboard. And once we're inside the dashboard, we're gonna come back into Crocoblock and come back down into the Woo page builder. We're gonna open up our template that we previously created, which is the login. We'll edit that with Elementor and we're literally just gonna delete everything off that page. We no longer need these entries. So we'll delete that. And now we're gonna use one of the Jet Tabs options. So we're gonna do a search for switcher and this is part of Jet Tabs. So we're gonna drag and drop that into our page. Make a little bit of room like we've done before. So we'll just add a little bit of breathing space above and below. And you can see this puts the switcher for the disable and enable. So in other words, the switches, the two switches we have on there. So now let's just select that. And you can see we've got items that we can choose between templates and the editor itself. Now we don't want to use the editor. We want to reference one of the templates we just created. So now if we come down into the template section underneath, and the first one's going to be for our login. So we'll do a search for login. And there's the My Account Login page. Once you set that, you can see that now pulls that directly inside there. And as I said, it keeps the formatting that we wanted enabled. We can edit the template directly from here if we want to, which is a nice quick way to round trip. But that's the first one done. Let's hop over now to the Enabled option. And we can come to Enable. And again, what we can do is we can choose Template. And we're just going to do a search for Registration. And there we go, there's our second template. So now we have our register and our login templates being used. So now what we need to do is style this to make sure that everything is laid out the way we want. So disable and enable makes no sense. So the disable is going to simply be renamed to login. Oh, wrong way around. That's gonna be register, go to disable and we'll set that to login. That now makes a lot more sense. So we'll update this. And now we've created our login and registration page using the switcher model. Let's go back over now into our incognito window. And this was the page that we had set up originally. Let's refresh that. And we now have our switcher between the login and the register. Already looks a lot more slick. So now we can take the same kind of principle and apply that to the actual My Account dashboard. So the principle now is pretty much exactly the same for the rest of the actual My Account. So what we're gonna do is open up the My Account that we created earlier with all the different widgets inside there, edit that with Elementor, and we're gonna use this then to copy and paste the various different components over into the relevant templates. So first of all, let's just grab this top section, which is our kind of welcome, our dashboard. So we'll copy that from there, hop back over into the dashboard, and we're gonna come back into the template section, and from there, save templates, add new. And we're just gonna, again, call this page. We're gonna call this my account welcome, create our template. And then we can just simply paste that inside there. We're done. We'll just publish that. So I'm just gonna quickly repeat that process for all of the different widgets, creating a template each time that's a page template. Then we'll take a look at how we can set this up with the tabs. Okay, so in the Elementor template section, you can see I've now got pages for registration, login, welcome, and everything else that we need. So those are the templates created. We can now just hop back over into the options for dealing with Crocoblock itself, and we can delete everything that's inside here. So let's just remove this entire section. So we're starting with a blank slate. Now we can just do a search for Jet Tabs, and there's our tab section. We're gonna drag and drop that inside there. And again, we're just gonna give this a bit of breathing room. And now we can just go through like we just saw and style these, but also just drop in the relevant section. So if we come into the layout and we'll just make sure that we've got the tabs selected, you can see we have tab entries inside here. We can now choose whatever template that we want. So if we start off with, for example, we've got details or welcome. So let's just do a search inside there for welcome. There we go. So we'll drop that in and there's our welcome section. So that's pretty cool. We can leave that there if we want to. Now we can just close this up a second and we can come into the next one. So we can just come in, template is perfectly fine. We'll do a search for orders. There we go, there's our orders. So now we come over to tab two. There's a list of all our orders. And I can just repeat that process. So I'm gonna quickly do that and then we'll take a look at how we can configure all of this to look cool. There we go, there's all our tabs inside there. We've got our welcome message sitting outside our tabs and now we have our template set up, looking pretty cool. So now we just need to refine this a little. So tab one doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So let's just change that from tab one. And we're gonna call this my orders. Already looks to make more sense. 
The next section then is going to be where we've got the addresses. So we can just change this to address book. And the final one, we're just going to call this my details. So now we can switch between them and you can see everything looks a lot slicker. We can also just con configure this and set this up the way we want. So at the moment the tabs are sitting at the top, but you might want to sort of put those over on the left hand side. You can do that and now you can switch between those. You can see pretty cool. We've got the various different things. So you can have these two change on hover, which personally I would find would drive me absolutely at the wall. You can change the way the show effect is. You can do a fade, for example, however you want to sort of set that up. And you can see you've got auto switch, no active tabs, use Ajax loading for templates, up to you how you want to set those up. And then we can jump over to the styling tab so we can control that inside there. So let's put these back to be across the top. Looks a little bit slicker across the top there. And then what we can do is we can just come in and fine tune the control of this. So all your padding, your margins, all those kinds of things are available. So you can come in and we'll say we want to set the alignment. You want to set the container alignment. You can see that's pretty cool. We can stretch those out if we want to. Now we have those set to be right across the top, stretched out. Tab control items, you can just set all the different styling up inside here. So I'm quickly going to go ahead and just apply some style into these just to make them look just a little bit cooler. And then we'll take a look at this on the front end. And there we go. Just taking a little bit of time to sort out the styling, add some different icons in, some hover effects and so on, add a bit of space in. And you can see very quickly using jet tabs, we can quite easily create something that looks absolutely awesome and in keeping. Let's just hop over now and take a look at this on our site. So this is where we started, if you remember. Let's just refresh this. And now this is where we've ended up. You can see we can switch between each of the different sections and everything just looks way, way better, way cooler. Now you've seen how to customize your WooCommerce account dashboard. Take your creative skills further by watching this video next. And if you enjoyed this video, why not hit the subscribe button to be notified when I release more content like this in the future. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts and until next time, take care.